Today, we're going to look at how to upload, edit, and generate different variations of images, all on the amazing DALI 2. If you've been watching my last few videos, you know that DALI 2 is an amazing tool for generating AI art. You can actually upload your own images, your own photographs, and do some amazing work with it. So let's get into it. Here we are, logged into DALI 2 again. And normally, we add something in this text box here, if you've watched my previous videos. But this time, we're going to upload an image. So we're simply just going to tap this wee link and we're going to choose a file and I've already got this one downloaded. It's the Statue of Liberty which I worked on in my first video and when you click the file a wee heads up there's a few wee things that Dali wants you to do. Be respectful of other people's rights. Don't upload photos without people's consent. This photo of the Statue of Liberty is got from unsplash.com so it's royally free. We can use it so that's no problem. Images may be reviewed to enforce our safety policies and improve models. That's no problem. We may use your data including up Loads to improve our models and enforce your policies. That's all okay. So we'll just tap the button. One of the limitations at Ali 2 at the minute is it can only work on square images. Everything we do is in a square image. So the image I uploaded was landscaped, a lovely landscape of Statue of Liberty and New York City in the background. But Dali is only wanting a square image. So we have to crop part of it. And I think this square of the Statue of Liberty, I'm happy to crop. That looks okay. And we can do two things. We can edit the image or generate variations of it. So we'll, we'll hit generate variations before we go into edit to see what it does. And we'll touch on this in my last video, but it's good just to go over it again. Maybe it takes a slightly bit longer to do the variations of this. And we can tap into the original. That's what we had at the start. And then this is the first variation. So really it's made it into a wee bit more of a digital art style, I would say, that one. The next photo, again, something similar. It's not a photograph and it's made it a wee bit like digital art. And this here is quite nice because not only has it made it into this digital art and rounded some things about, it's actually flipped flip the image over so it's a completely different angle, completely different view of the Statue of Liberty with New York in the background. And again, it's flipped it back for this one. That's quite nice. They're, they're grand, those variations. It's not what we're looking for. So we'll hit back. And if we go back into the original again, just by tapping it or clicking it if you're on the computer, we are going to go up to this edit button. Straight away, it's telling us to erase an area you want to modify. Click to get started. And this is an awful lot of fun. We're going to erase the Statue of Liberty and we're going to replace it with something else. So I'm just using my Apple Pencil and that's quite big. If you make a mistake, you can just redo the symbol here. It's quite basic what you can do at the minute. You can reset it and you can just choose the size of brush. So still, that's quite big. So we'll erase that. You can make it as big as I see. There's a dot of the biggest dot and there's a dot of the smallest dot. So we'll bring it up just a wee bit. And you don't need the Apple Pencil for this. You can use your finger or if you're on the computer, you can use the mouse pointer. And we'll get we'll get quite close into this. Although really Dali does a great job, even if you even if you go mad and do quite a big bit of an area. So we've erased part of this image. And what we can do now is replace it with something else. So let's have a bit of fun here. We'll click here. What will we replace? And it's given us a wee hint. Describe the entire desired image, not just the erased area area. What kind of statue would we like to replace the Statue of Liberty? In the first video I made of Dali, we had a, an alien statue and different things. Let's see if we can replace it with maybe the Eiffel Tower. Maybe that would be quite fun. So we've simply just typed in the Eiffel Tower and generate and see what it comes up with. And again, there's a wee progress bar and there's a bit of a tip here saying you can add digital art and a bit of a, an example image here too. So this looks interesting. We'll click into the first one here and that looks nothing like the Eiffel Tower, but we'll go to the next one. And yes, that definitely looks like the top of the Eiffel Tower. And that looks really, really good. Again, that looks like the top of an Eiffel Tower. And so does that. So that's three good images. It's not the whole Eiffel Tower we're looking for. Maybe if we erase all of this and we'll get the full image of the Eiffel Tower, that would be quite interesting. And even with this image, we can make a variation of it. Uh, I'll do it just to see, although normally when you upload an image and do something like this, the variations aren't as good as the generated ones DALI makes itself. So not share Andrew, but the variations. And this is interesting because the variations it has made is has put it back to the Statue of Liberty, which is quite interesting. And it's done a bit of mad stuff. 
with New York City. Again, it's made it like the Statue of Liberty. Dali's obviously seeing images like this and has added in the Statue of Liberty. And again, that's a different angle. That looks quite mad and quite interesting. A completely different angle, but Dali's looking. It's whole database of images, and that's why we're getting something very similar to the Statue of Liberty. And we'll go back to our first collection. We'll go back to this. We'll edit it, and this time be too big we'll make it a wee bit smaller and we'll see if we can take out not being too precious about what we can do and uh maybe even make it look look like the shape of an eiffel tower so so we'll simply add in the eiffel tower and let's see what dali comes up with this time and you can see from the preview we've got three good ones here we'll click into the first one or we'll tap into the first one and again that's a bit like the statue of liberty but look at that that is really good that's really impressive because what is actually done here is it's put some of the trees in front of the statue of liberty and this here all looks realistic that looks a wee bit more digitized and the next one again is that different color of trees we've got there yeah that's actually different color of trees a different color of season it's kept the bottom bit in place and if you ever wanted to know what the eiffel tower looks like in new york city replacing the statue of liberty now you know and uh, i'm not just as fond as that one i think that one or maybe even i think that's the best one it looks a wee bit digitized but it's very very impressive and it's done a really great job now there is another fantastic way to edit a photo and that's if you go up to try out painting open editor there's this brilliant thing called out painting i'm not going to look at it in this video just because it doesn't work too wet well it doesn't work at all really to my knowledge on the ipad you need to use a desktop computer a mac or pc for that so there you have it and i'm very excited for the next video coming up because we're still going to be looking at dali 2 but we're also going to be looking at dali 2 and how it works or how it could work with a finley photo on the ipad if you don't know what a finley photo is it's a bit like photoshop only better or at least in my opinion and we're going to be looking at how dali 2 and how a finley photo on the ipad can work together i think you'll absolutely be blown away with the results and I would go as far as saying that Dali 2 is now for some projects part of my workflow and it's, it's game changing so stay tuned for that video and if you found any value in this video please give it a like and subscribe to this channel there's going to be more coming out in Dali 2 and more in the Finley photo also and until the next time thanks for watching hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video